guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to the Not Carrie Bradshaw YouTube channel. In this video, we're reviewing season one, episode eight of House of the Dragon, playing catch up so we can start talking about the current season. So let's get right into it. I'm so sorry if you can hear my neighbor's music. This is Brooklyn in the summertime. I'm gonna do the best I can in post to um, minimize the noise, but y'all can bear with me for a second. You know, if it's a problem, join my Patreon, send me some money, I'll get a studio, you never have to worry about it again. So, this is another time hop, it's six years later since the last episode, Corliss was at sea, at war, messed around and got his throat cut, wound up in the sea, he got pulled ashore, but now he's suffering from some sort of fever, from the cut, because of course he is, ain't no antibiotics. You know, everybody's just doing their best. It's touch and go. They don't know if bro gonna make it, okay? So poor Rainice, she done lost both of her kids, or so she thinks. Now she might lose her husband. And just then, scheming ass Damon comes in like, I hate to be that girl, but we need to talk about a succession plan. And Rainice is like, as far as I know, my husband ain't dead, so I don't even know why you're here, really. And he's like, listen, I'm an unimpeachable Valerian. Nobody can question my lineage. Lucerius won't really know about him, you know, and Rhaenys is like, I don't know, shut up. I don't know, shut up. Luke is up next, so you're a second son. I don't know why you're here. So he says, you know what, if you want back my claim, I'm gonna go to King's Landing. I'm gonna take it to the throne because he knows that Allison and Otto, who are ruling in Viserys, is dead because Brut is down bad. He on his way out, okay? Sick and shut in list. He knows that they will side with him because they have been the biggest proponents of Rhaenyra's kids are bastards, right? So Rhaenyra and Damon are like, well, shit, I guess we got to go back to King's Landing because they just been big kicking it at Dragonstone ever since the big fight. It's like, I don't even want to be bothered with them people. So they head to King's Landing. Allison and Otto done redecorated in everything, okay? Damon and Rhaenyra go to Viserys on his on the way out bed, okay? Five steps from eternity, okay? And they're like, listen, we know you're not in the best shape, but you're gonna have to pull it together because they're once again questioning Luke, they're questioning Rhaenyra, we need you to, to back us again. And he's just like, child, I don't know, I'm not even here. He's all doped up on milk of the poppy, which is opium, which is morphine or, or something or another. He's barely here on this plane of existence, okay? The veil between life and death for Viserys is thin, okay? And Rhaenyra feels helpless at this point. They don't know if any of this is getting through, and they're like, you're gonna have to lay off the dope for a minute to help us out here. But who can say? He, They bring the kids in, the kids start crying because they've never seen anyone who looks like that. Things don't look great, okay? So Rhaenyra says, okay, what's my other option? She goes to Rhaenys. And she tries to plead with Rhaenys. They're like, listen, I didn't have anything to do with Lainor's death because secretly he's not dead, but she can't say that. And she's like, listen, I think that what will really help is if my kids marry Lena's kids. That way it'll strengthen the bond between our houses, whatever, whatever. And Rhaenys is like, mm, I don't really know about that. I feel like you had something to do with my son's death. You done married your uncle. I, I don't really know. We'll see. I guess, kind of, sort of, right? So Rhaenyra is just like distraught and she goes back to her pappy and she's like, listen, do you still believe in the song of, of ice and fire? Do you still want me to be the one who continues ruling? Like, I just don't really know if this is something that I can handle anymore, heavy as the head, all the things. So she asked him again to defend her and her children's claim to the throne. And then I'm going to tell you what was also interesting. He refers to Rhaenyra as his only child. And it is easy to think that. I completely forget that, like, Allison's kids are also his kids. But he really treats Rhaenyra like she's the only one that matters, in a way. So, but again, he's doped up. However, it looks like something got through to him because he tells Otto Hightower, you know what? I want to have a dinner. All my family is here. Let's, you know, link up. And Otto looks shook because he knows, and he denied the milk of the poppy. Otto knows that if Viserys is in his right head, he's going to stand up for Rhaenyra, right? So everybody is gathered in the throne room to discuss the title of Driftmark. Everybody is bringing in their receipts and woo de woo de woo So Damon 
is once again like I'm the only person here that can unquestionably say that they're a full-blooded Valerian. I don't know about these other people. I'm the only man here who, you know, has a real claim. Boop -de -boop -de -boop. Just then, Viserys hobbles his way in wearing one of the best masks I've ever seen. Fashion, okay? Be on your deathbed, but make it fashion. Absolutely loved it. And it's this moment of triumph in a way so he makes his way up to the throne crown falls off here's Damon to help him put it back on his head the symbolism we love to see it so he sits down and he's like why do I gotta come back here and do this shit again I just told y'all not too long ago it's Luke these kids are my daughter's kids I'm, I'm not gonna keep doing this with y'all I said what I said Chad Damon was feeling his beat a little too hard and he was like I don't care what you do in your house but you don't get to say nothing about what goes on with the the legacy of my house and it's like Damon sweetie you live in the seven kingdoms and your family does not sit the throne so you might want to kind of dial it down so he calls Rhaenyra's kids bastards which fighting words back then and treason back then and then calls Rhaenyra a whore Viserys feebly pulls out this Valyrian steel blade, like, I'll have your tongue for that, and here comes Damon. He cuts half that man's head off, and he says he can keep his tongue. Now, let me tell you something. Damon is a little shit, but he cleared with that. That, that, he won a couple of points with that. Um, because Viserys did say the next person that questions my child's or my grandchildren's lineage, I will have their tongue for it when, when last we left off. So, Damon was just like, I'm going to hold you at your word. Let's all move on. So, now, everybody is at this very awkward family dinner. Like, do these people ever have a good time when they get together? It's always weird and awkward. So, Viserys makes this final plea that, like, listen, I'm not going to be here for much longer. Y'all are all a bunch of weirdos, but you're my family and I love you. Please squash whatever beef this is so I can leave this earth knowing I did what I was supposed to do as a good king is supposed to end this shit. So, Rhaenyra is like, I'm going to be the, the, the bigger man here, okay? Rhaenyra's like, I'll stand up. Allison, thank you for taking care of my daddy. Um, You know, I respect you, whatever. Let's squash this shit. So then Allison is like, we're both moms. Sure. Why not? So Egon is, of course, being a little shit because not only has he been sexually assaulting um, the servant class or whatever, he's unapologetic about it. And Allison told him earlier in that day, you are no son of mine. You know, so he is making jokes about, oh, the best thing that happened in the throne room. Rhaenys affirmed that, I guess she had to change of heart because the Viserys was there. So she affirmed that her grandchildren would marry his grandchildren. So this marriage between um, Bela and Raina and Jason Luke will happen. And that's a good thing. Egan thinks that this is a good time to make jokes and all this stuff like that or whatever. It never is. Bela has to tell Jace to calm down. And for some reason, they, uh, why Rhaenyra ain't teaching her kids to fight? Why, why her kids don't know how to fight? Because Eamon is out here whooping ass. And even when they tried to jump him, I feel like why y'all didn't go home to Dragonstone and be like, y'all gotta learn how to fight. Y'all really gotta learn how to defend yourselves. After they tried to jump him and still lost in the last episode, teach these kids how to fight. Like, they look so feeble compared to... Amen and Egon. Like, what's happening here? I love that Helena made a speech and Helena said, beware the beast beneath the boards before her toast. What did that mean? She's such a cool witchy girl. She stands up, she makes a toast, low-key kind of shades um Egon or whatever, and makes a toast to Bela and Reyna. Like, marriage isn't so bad, mostly they ignore you, and it's you know not so terrible. So Poor Viserys is absolutely spent. He's like, baby, take me to my bed chambers. I can't even do this no more. He done. So soon as he leaves, okay? So Jace is doing the gentlemanly thing and offers to dance with Helena because the poor girl needs some joy in her life. Why would they put this roasted pig in front of Eamon and then trigger him about this little joke they played on him a few years ago? So he stands up like he want to do something for a second time that evening. And this just leads to another fight. So it's like, okay. 
we can't do shit, right? This is why we can't have nice things. And then Damon stands up. Because Damon is like, you can try this shit with them, but you don't want to tussle with me, little boy. Okay? And I kind of love that. I, I kind of love that people know to back down when it comes to Damon. I still think he's a little shit, but I do like the power that he can sometimes command. We'll allow that. Um... So Rhaenyra decides that it's best that they just head home. And she says to Allison, I'll come back on Dragonback. And Allison is like, I would like that. We would love that. You know, whatever it looks like, the beef is being squashed. Well, Viserys is literally on his deathbed. And he starts mumbling his last words about the Song of Fire and Ice. And Allison misunderstands that he is talking about Aegon the Conqueror, not Aegon her shitty little son. So Allison thinks that Viserys has changed his mind about wanting Rhaenyra to be his heir. And it's like, girl, sometimes you just be hearing what you want to hear. Like, don't nobody even have to lie to you. You lie to yourself kind of thing. So we'll see what happens next episode now that she has this misinformation. So that's it for episode eight. It gave us a lot. Um, R.I.P. to Viserys. He did his best. And we'll be back for episode nine. We're almost through the season and I promise I'll stay on track. So be sure to like, subscribe, comment, join our Patreon. If there's exclusive content that you would like to see, let me know. Uh, keep it cute though. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.